the start of the first final four matchup. It is one versus number four. And they have been the number one team. And the twice to be incentive is with them. And a service ace. Did you say that FU's weakness, one of their weaknesses is their reception? And Palmer, of course, always in attendance. Oh, yeah. But uh, you know, at this point, um, uh, FU needs to make sure that they don't show Ateneo kai kote no nandikakot. Aggressiveness has to be there on the onset. They are last in reception efficiency, as Anne mentioned earlier in our pregame talk about FU. Down six years. Martino has been on fire and on target so far. That's out. Another service error. But the FEU, of course, would gladly take that point. For another error. Then a big point by the FEU, Sabi Buan. So far, three of the four points of FEU have come from that. Yes, and uh, you know, it's it's a bit tough. I mean, Atenea is just all over the net every time they, they make an attempt. Rogelio is checked at the net, covered to slow. At the net. So far, Ateneo positioned themselves properly. It's another service error. So another point for FDU to stay in this game, courtesy of the errors of the Lady Eagles. Lady Malabang, the captain, has something to say. Oliver Bora. Oliver Bora and Obet. Yeah, coach. Referee today. Uh, the two crucial referees. Six serving the luck. That is why. Cross the air. F U. Can't give away points, especially the Gabo Sila. They have no attack points yet as we speak. They have one kill block. Five attack points for Ateneo, but also coupled by a few errors for Ateneo to give FEU six points. Oh, so the same case here is. Because I think Jerry was ready to take that. George Pasqua, 11 years in the men's division, four titles, a three beat. Now second year in the women's division, replacing Shaq de los Santos, of course, who coached for six years and had four Final Four appearances for himself, too. Thirteen, he's serving six. Robert, that is out no for the